Now we're in the back garden, which is a coastal garden theme design using lots of natural materials here. So here we've got upright timbers set into loose pebbles uh, with paddle stones and grasses. Moving on into the Sempervirens pencils, these beautiful Italian strictors or pencils as we've been calling them look absolutely stunning in their new home. And if I move slowly, you'll see how the lines work on the ground as you pass them. You get these beautiful, beautiful lines. And when the sun comes out, you get shadow play on the ground, also forming that lovely sort of diagonal grid work pattern on the floor. On the front here, we've got a timber stone, which is a, a brilliant concrete material made to look like timber. And it's perfect to create the boardwalk feel which we've got running from one side of the garden to the other with a curve just to soften it and sort of incorporate the idea of the tidal feel and movement of the sea as it comes and goes. Then behind the Italian pencils if I walk up here to the back of the garden, moving through them, hopefully you can hear the sound of the stones underfoot and then we enter a circular area as a garden retreat laid with a, an Indian sandstone a circle paving kit and flanked by oak upright timbers to two sides of the garden sanctuary and planted as you can see with some butler sinks using a succulent plants and saxifrage and as I zoom in now, I can see that there is a bee here enjoying what's, what's on offer, which is lovely to see. I'll just come back a bit. In here, I've got an olive tree that we've actually planted in the ground, flanked by a triad of hebes, white flowering hebes, which are lovely. I've really kept the colour palette in the entire garden very simple, but using a different selection of plants in each area. So here over in the far corner we've got lots of flowering saxophage and uh, succulents here. The sedum, the really beautiful dark purple sort of aubergine coloured and green leaves of the sedum, absolutely exquisite. And then I come up round, I've got a hydrangea there in a pot, a very tall pot, and then we lead into what we've sort of called the evergreen forest, it's, it's a border um, flanking about four panel widths of fence and it's surrounded by pines filled in with bark on the ground and all evergreen so the whole theme of this area of the garden is a woodland feel and once everything grows up it will really fill in and give a beautiful secluded feel so he's got these lovely pines here growing at the front and just beyond there you can see the grasses that are blowing in the breeze which gives a lovely coastal feel it creates movement against the uprights of the timber which is lovely so i'll just pan over to the far corner of the garden there all finished off with evergreen laurels which will grow up and in time cover the fence that's the idea we want some green screening there just pull back a little bit so you see the back of the house and how if I stand at the back of the garden how it's now looking 